Hey everyone, it's Dan from SideHustleReliance.com. So recently I actually did a video showing you how the hideout TV platforms work compared to, to uh, Loot TV on my phone farm. But when looking into this further, I actually discovered that there is actually a hideout TV app for the Amazon Fire Stick. And it does look more profitable, giving up to $2 a day by just running the platform on a TV. As is the case, I've actually decided to buy an Amazon Fire Stick myself during the Prime sale for around £25 or around $30. And in this video, I will be testing out that whole idea. Before I actually get into the whole nitty gritty of this, please note that it is against TOS on Hideout TV, so that you can't actually run multiple instances, so you can't run it on your phone farm, as well as the TV. I'm sure you run it on TV in this experiment. I'm also not a financial advisor, so this is purely for entertainment and educational purposes. So please do your own research before you buy anything. This is just something I want to do. Also, I want to give a bit of context on who I am and what I do. So I live in the UK, so my results may differ. I will be using a 4K TV with the Amazon Fire Stick plugged into power so that it should be working like that. I'll also only be doing the experiment across six hours across a weekday. It's actually a Monday if you are wondering, and that's how we're going to test this out. So let's get right to it. First off, it was actually pretty easy to set up. I just plugged it into the back and I just searched the application, hideout TV in the app store and let it install, and then I just logged in. I actually did encounter a potential problem as soon as I logged in though. And you have to leave the device on all the time. So for example, this will actually mean that you will have a higher power consumption than you would with an external battery like you would with a phone. So please be aware of that. I'm starting this video off with 6,047.9 Haro points. Anyways, I'll see you guys in six hours. Six hours later. So here's the results. I actually did run the application for a long time across a six hour period. Normally I would gain around 3.3 hideout points per advertisement on my phone farm. But in this instance, I was actually gaining 10 per advertisement, which is great. Another thing to note is that you do actually have a login capture on the mobile site between every four and eight hours. But on the TV, I noticed that it's every hour or so. On average, I was making around 600 points per 24 hours on my Android device. But one thing I noticed with regards to the hideout TV application, I was only earning 10 hideout points per six hours, which would be around 40 per 24 hour period. What? When monitoring the cost of this to run though, it was 0.171 kilowatt hours, which is around 3.5 cents to run for six hours. That does mean if you did run this for a full 24 hour period, it would be around 14 cents. Following on from this, I've actually come to the conclusion that hideout TV isn't worth doing on the TV. Stick to a phone, the costs are lower, you make more profit, and yeah, it just seems to be a better UI overall. Like I said, I did run the application for six hours and I made 10 points. This does mean that my new total is 6,057.9 hideout points. Hideout does offer to offer a code every day where you can get nine free hideout points. It resets at 12 p.m. GMT, and that'll give you a quick nine points, which is fantastic. Not to mention, they actually do offer promo codes on their Instagram and Facebook page every Monday, Wednesday and Friday of a working week, which is fantastic. Which actually create yourselves 25 hideout points, which is something I always do, so I always make sure I've got my notifications on on their Instagram account so I don't actually miss that. Whenever you're cashing out though from hideout, whether that be running on the TV or an Android device, please realise that you should be using that, the, the actual site, Loot Up, as they pay significantly more than any other platform. And that's because they're actually owned by hideout TV themselves and they're part of the same company. So when you transfer the points over, you normally gain 10 hideout points for 11 loot up points. And I'm gonna be honest here, do not transfer points at this rate. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Keep logging into loot up until you hit the 50% bonus on their free wheel. And with this, you actually gain 50% more points when transferring over. So for example, if you transfer over 10 points from hideout TV, you end up getting 15.5 loot up points, which is fantastic. And it is literally just a bit extra. And that means you will be making more per day than you would otherwise. I do think the conditions I used in this video though, it wasn't fully transparent. And I feel like if I did things differently, for example, if I use the web browser instead of the application, I might actually get a different result. But I think for someone who actually hasn't used this before, I felt like it was a great experiment to see, can I just install the application and let it run? And I did earn something, but it literally isn't even worth it. I think if you are gonna get an Amazon Fire Stick, just use it for the entertainment side of it, like ITV Hub, Netflix, or whatever, or maybe the gaming side of it. 
But I did actually have a lot of fun exploring that whole idea in this video. And I will keep doing that in other content. I, I actually do produce over the next few weeks and months. But yeah, this was just a bit of a, an experiment to see if it is worth doing. In the UK, it's not. It might be in your area, so do your own research if you are going to look into doing this. So yeah, that, that was a bit different. Like I said, I would be happy to explore this again in the future, maybe using the web browser. But then again, I don't think it would be as different results as it would be if I was just using a like a phone in that regard, and then I wouldn't have the actual overhead costs. I wouldn't have to keep logging in. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed a little insight. It was a bit different, a bit of a, a quick turnaround. I'm actually in my bedroom for once. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of changing the locations on my videos. If you click right here, you actually get a access to a video I did on my Helium Miner, which is a passive way to earn. It's a slow earner, but it's something which works and it's something I'm really happy with. As well as my recent update onto the Swagbucks guide I did a few months back. There's been a few changes and if you guys use Swagbucks, it's definitely worth checking it out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys real soon. Take care.